I'm going to show you how to make this really cool bracelet bangle out of an old bicycle tire. So when I started selling jewelry in Montreal, I was selling these hand-painted buttons. So basically they're badges that I covered with fabric and I painted on. My friend did this one, I did that one. And this is covered with old recycled necktie fabric because I was working at a tie factory as a designer in Toronto just before I left to sell the buttons. And as I was selling on the street that summer, my work evolved a little bit and I started like, um, with the fabric I was using to paint the buttons with, I started making jewelry. And so here's some hand dyed silk that I twisted around a loop to make earrings. And then I got some scraps of leather and I got some bangles and was making bracelets and little earrings like this with leather wrapped around it. So I'm going to show you how to make the bangle and for this project you're going to need a bangle from the dollar store or a recycled bangle from anywhere. And this one I'm not, I don't love leather these days so I'm going to use a recycled uh, inner tube from a bicycle. So I have cut a long strip that's half an inch wide and I also have some wire, the 20 gauge wire, so I'll cut myself a piece so it's ready to go. That's just going to be to secure the um, rubber onto the bangle. So we'll cut a piece of wire and basically what you're going to do is just take the, the rubber whatever side you want sticking out and wrap it around so it's a little tricky to start and then basically you're going to hold it into place and as tightly as you can you're going to wrap it around the bangle and you're going to to start just get it started like that and then you can wrap the wire around a little bit to hold it into place this way it won't slip all over the place so you go like that and then we'll just take it and wrap it around just in and out really. And if you do have old strips of leather, you can do the same thing with the leather. It's just a little finicky to get it wrapped in and out, but basically you're going to go all the way around. And you're going to overlap a little bit so none of the bangles is showing. So as you get to the end, I'm actually going to clip these wires where I started. And then what you want to do is overlap this bit here. And we're pulling it really tightly as we go and you're overlapping about a quarter inch uh, so it holds the previous piece in place. And we're just going to wrap it around until we've bypassed that little wire bit there. Okay. And then once you have it where you want to end, you're just going to cut it there and add some more wire. So we'll just cut the end with scissors quite close. And then we'll get another piece of wire and we're going to center it and then just twist it around as many times as you think it needs to be secure. And then what you can do is you can just poke these ends in place. Or you can get some little round pliers and twist the ends into circles. So twisting the end into circles, you just uh, cut them to about a 
third of an inch extra. Get your round pliers. Do a little loop. And on the other end too, do a little loop. So you have something that looks like that. And then you can just push them in with your fingers or get your pliers and squeeze them in like that. So there you have your finished end and there you have your bangle made with a bicycle inner tube. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe. Press the button below and all my social media links are in the description. If ever you want me to create a DIY video based on an idea or a design you've seen, just send me a little email and I'd love to work out some ideas for new designs too.